I got strength. I'm playing proxy. I'm playing OTP Vegas Premium. I'm playing Regalia like Regalia Genesis Premium. All right, so I'll be taking over from here. Roxy is going first, so she rides into Wind Flap Angel. Nothing special there. That's just the Regalia Strike Faller from back in the days, right? So now it's Link's turn, and very unlikely, uh, she has to G assist. So she did not start off with a Great One in her opening hand. So she checks the top five cards, adds the Great Three Searcher for Oracle Think Tank into the hand, and then she has to choose two cards to remove from play and that will be hexagonal magus as well as rectangle magus very unfortunate there but uh you know you do want to ride up <laughs> at least and then now she uses harmonics messiah right from the new history collection and this will give her a 20k quick shield which she is proxying in this video because we actually filmed this video before uh history collection okay so she attacks Checks a heal trigger, which is a heal guardian, not too bad. Can be useful later on, uh, depending on how Roxy's turn goes. So as Roxy's turn, she goes into non, calls on a Thrut. Thrut has an unplaced effect to give herself a divine gauge from the soul. And then she calls another uh, non in the back row. I guess just was I guess it's just a setup turn for Roxy, uh, for her next for her grade three turn the next turn. So here she uses non's effect and then ends up soul charging two triggers, which is kind of painful. It was a PG and a critical trigger strike faller. So unfortunate. But that's alright. The game continues. Roxy attacks with Thrut on the rearguard circle. And then Ling uses just the 5k uh, quick shoulder guard. So Thrut's effect at the end of the battle that it attacked, she can move the equip gauge to the rearguard non, goes into soul and then draw a card. So right now the rearguard non has two gauges. Uh, ready for you know Roxy's next turn. So here Ling checks a draw trigger, very good, very good timing because this will allow her to increase the hand size after throwing away two cards for the G assist. So here's Ling's turn. Uh, she stand and draws, okay, and then proceeds to ride into Diviner Kuro Ikazuchi from back in the days. So she's gonna call Cure Omegas. Cure Omegas can uh, try the top two cards and then decide the order uh, of the deck. Okay, so she leaves them there and here's where all the fun begins. So she calls on Cubic Megas. Cubic Megas is skill. She has the top two at one to hand and then the other one on top. And here, uh, Ling will activate uh, Diviner Kuroi Kazuchi's effect. So Blast 1, discard a card from hand. She can reveal the top card of her deck and then if it is a trigger, she can activate it. Otherwise, if it is a normal unit, like in this case, uh, she can give plus 6,000 power to Diviner Kurikazuchi. So Diviner is now 15,000, able to hit Roxy's 10k base Vanguard. And so the turn passes back to Roxy. So Roxy is going first, which means she can't strike. But that's alright, because both players are actually playing a V, uh, v Premium kind of base deck. So Roxy still has V Premium Genesis stuff to do. And Regalia can actually have a really good first grade 3 turn output. Right, so she chooses Force 2, as always, because there's going to be re-standing shenanigans here. So Roxy calls down CEO Yggdrasil, the V Premium 1, and then calls down VAR. So she uses uh, Yggdrasil first to counter Blast 1, search the deck for non Super Call it behind the Vanguard. So uh, she's setting up for a you know re-standing Vanguard play. And then she can also gauge two of her rear guards with Yggdrasil's effect. So I guess that will be the VAR that she called down, as well as the non that she called from the deck. And here, uh, Roxy calls down Thrut as well. Thrut will, once again, give herself a Divine Gauge. Very important to gauge all her rear guards, uh, because of Angelica's passive effect to give all rear guards with Divine Gauge plus 5k. So here, Roxy uses VAR's effect. She can discard uh, the card's gauge, right, VAR's gauge, and as so three cards, retire VAR to counter charge one. 
So Roxy can technically use this counter blast uh, for the non on the rear guards, but she chooses not to and instead just calls down the art tick uh, to stack the deck a little. So check the top two, one to soul, the other one on top, very similar to you know Oracle Think Tank stacking style. So yep, uh, Roxy begins attack. When it when Angelica attacks, she can then gauge up to two rear guards. All, so all her rear guards right now have divine gauge, including the newly called Arctic as well as the CEO Yggdrasil. Uh, with the Vanguard skill, all rear guards, as I've mentioned, with divine gauge get plus five thousand power. So this column is now hitting for twenty three twenty eight, and then uh, Arctic also has the effect to give the Vanguard plus five k. So it's actually thirty three thousand. Roxy checks the critical trigger. Uh, she's gonna give all effects to Vanguard, okay, and defensive first with a critical trigger, second check, another defensive. So right now, even though Roxy's Vanguard is now really high power, uh, Ling's double defensive might just have made all of Roxy's attacks much easier to guard. So right now, Ling's Vanguard is actually at 29,000, which is crazy. But Ross is still gonna go for the uh, Vanguard restand. So discarding non gauge, discarding a card from the hand, restand the Vanguard plus ten thousand minus one drive, and the Vanguard swings again. So right now, Igdra sorry, Angelica should be hitting for twenty three, thirty three thousand, thirty eight thousand. If I'm not wrong, thirty eight thousand, and uh, double critical. So Ling is at three damage. Uh, she can actually afford to guard here. Because she does have you know a whole bunch of shield, including heal guardians. But she chooses to take very brave. Uh, Ling just takes two damage. And then now let's see, Roxy swings to the rear. So all the rear guards are now not as threatening as before because of Ling's double defensive. She's at twenty nine thousand. Uh, this rear guard CEO Idrisol is only hitting for let's see twenty three plus ten. 33, which is just a 5k guard. So Roxy foregoes the restand, uh, understandable because uh, it's just a discard to force another 5k shoot from Link's massive hand, which is not really that uh, useful, I guess. And then Roxy's final attack is just a threat. So 18 plus 10, that would be 28 plus 5k from Arctic, 33,000. So just 5,000 guard, still able to hit Link's Vanguard. So Thrust Effect. Uh, we'll give Roxy one more draw and hopefully allow her to survive Roxy, uh, Ling's next turn because right now Ling will be going into stride. So she'll ride into Hexagonal Magus and she proceeds to use Hexagonal Magus' effect. She forgot to get the uh, Protect marker as well here. But let's see how the game continues. So here she strides. So discard a Goddess of the Sun on Matarasu. As she goes into one of uh, Oracle Think Tank's newer strike, this is the Happiness Gathering Dragon King. So, using Happiness Dra Gathering Dragon King's effect, uh, Link can turn a card from the G Zone face up and then reveal cards from the top of the deck equal to the number of cards in the G Zone uh, face up plus two. So, that would be one plus two is three. So, reveal three cards, call all revealed normal units. To rearguard circle and then uh, link can also activate the trigger effects of the trigger cards so here it is a critical trigger which gives all effects to vanguard so here's where you know links uh, shenanigans come into play so here she's gonna call down the tetra magus v premium tetra magus and tetra magus's effect is counter blast one draw a card and then link can stack a critical trigger directly on the top of the deck so of course she puts that crit back to, to the top and here, she uses Diviner Kurikazuchi, so plus one, discard a card, and then she can reveal the top card and activate all trigger effects. And of course, it's a critical trigger that she stacked. Uh, once again, she gives all effects to Vanguard, so she's really going all in here, uh, betting that Roxy does not have you know, an Elementaria or a Perfect Guard, and going in for the Q here. She calls down the Fusili Magus, so Fusili Magus' effect, Counter Blast one, so Blast one, she can give her Magus Vanguard, plus 10,000 power and plus one drive. So she'll be drive checking four times. And right now the Vanguard is hitting for an insanely high amount of power because all the trigger effects and have been added to the Vanguard as well as Fusili Magus' power up. So Ling is really betting that Roxy does not have a perfect guard here and Roxy says no guard. So Ling's going in for the 
quadruple drive. So she checks the critical trigger, giving the crit to the vanguard and the power to the rear guard. So right now, uh, her vanguard is at three criticals already, right? With this uh, check, it's up to four criticals, which means it's already lethal. And then Ling has still two more checks to go. For, uh, third check, and then fourth check, another critical trigger. She gives the critical to the vanguard and power to rear. And Roxy's like, oh, okay, I can't guard, can't guard this. And whoa, a crit, but you know, not enough. Next card is a heal, but yes. So Ling's, uh, I guess, her bet that Roxy did not have a perfect shoe kind of worked out. For me, it was kind of a risky play because, because Ling was kind of putting all her eggs into one basket. But I guess when she's pushed to the edge like that, you know, next turn Roxy is probably going to uh, go all in and then probably win it. I guess Ling really wanted her... Want the this to be the turn, you know, that she kills uh, Roxy with. So yeah, this is it for our very quick uh, premium gameplay. So this is actually the first premium game that we have on our channel. We will hopefully do more of this. Premium is something a little bit newer uh, to the four of us. But we will definitely be experimenting more with premium. So you guys can definitely expect that to appear on the channel. But yeah, for now, uh, this is it. We'll see you all in the next one. Until the next one, bye guys.